back to my channel and to Evolution Worlds. My walkthrough slash guide slash social commentary slash whatever the fuck I'm gonna talk about because that's just how this game is. So even though uh, we saved in this dungeon, we do have to go through the fifth floor again. Or even though we saved at the end of this floor, we still have to go through it again. At least we don't have to go through like the uh, secrets here, you know? So, it's just a straightforward shot. And it's a quick floor. So, here we are. Um, let me just make sure we're saved here, just in case I'm wrong and such, though I don't think I am. Anyways, so there's a button here to open the door. Right, we gotta jump. Here! And this is... Oops. Hold on, I will, uh... I'm gonna come back to this real quick. Okay, now there was a very specific reason that I had to... Um... Come back here. And that is because we actually need to change our side frame setup here. As you saw before, I was using hand parts, I think. Hold on, let me check. Okay, so hand parts, sprayer parts, and megaphone parts was what I was using before. We need hammer parts equipped. And unfortunately, hammer parts takes up two slots, so... Anyways... With that being said, now we are ready to uh, do this boss fight. Just one little mistake was all it took to get me back there. <laughs> Would have thought I'd actually used the reset button. <laughs> There's a very good reason they don't make those anymore. Okay, so uh, is linear all the way back? Yeah, okay. Linear we're going to want to save as much FP for as possible. Uh, Mag, we want to use his most powerful hammer moves. This is a very easy boss. It's literally... It's actually easier than uh, Prince Eugene. And my lion guy told me that I need chain for this fight. They never said I need a chain before this uh, point, but my guide said that they did say that. Luckily, I decided to bring chain with me anyways. So... I'm probably gonna use boring parts for the most part, but before we use uh, skills, we need chain to use her talent. Change the attack parameter went up. Okay, let's uh, move chain up. I'm assuming his boss is one type, just based on his moves. Thing is, though, I don't think there's any like weakness or non-weakness thing going on in this game. So, I feel like we should use boomerang parts because that's what we found here. It 
it misses. It misses. We're using light blade parts. attacking groups of enemies, but not really for attacking single enemies. So I'm kind of finding. Okay, so this is actually something for uh, Linear. Linear is going to use Wake Up Touch for this situation. I forgot. I wasn't actually sure of all the moves the boss had, but that was part of the strategy my guy was saying, so. But right now we're using chains, so... Okay, so I believe that's status restoration? Yep. First one. Wake up touch. That's hello touch. Cure Sleep and Confusion, that's everyone, so if both Chain and uh, Magor Sleep, I'd use that. Let's not waste our uh, TP. FP, what do you want to call it? TP, yeah, it's TP. Skills, Hammer Parts, Trip Panda. The thing that scares me most is we probably don't have uh, FP restoring me. Items right now? Oh, is it? It's dead? We killed it already! Check me out now! Chan has gone up to level 21. I'm carrying too many items. A Santa Maria? Fuck hell, I'm not letting go of that. Let's see the dungeon exit. That could actually be useful in certain dungeons. I'm gonna keep that. I think it's gonna have to come down to a healing item. How much do those low melons? 50? Screw those. Alright. Alright! We beat him! What's wrong, Lydia? We weakened it for you! Together again. You know, it 
Adventuring with you, Meg, was so much fun. I'll never forget it. We did it like, what, once? You can always find me at the restaurant across from the hotel. So come look me up sometime. Bye now. Back. So as you can imagine, that does mean that I'll be taking uh, Pepper along for the next run through uh, Blaze Ruins, and I won't be grinding probably. I mean, I will be grinding, but I won't be. You know what I'm saying? What's that? Check in. Marinko got Lapis Orb. Lapis Orb to Whitehead. This is incredible. So, do you think a little better of me now? So as you can imagine, that does mean that we have some stuff to do now. So let me just save real quick. And read ahead, because I did not read this far. It's not too much to do here. So just head downstairs. Remember the way. <laughs> Talk to receptionist, or I guess a single trigger, anyways. Oh, nice. Congratulations on completing the assignment. Oh yes, the prize money to be paid to Mag for this adventure is three thousand Daniels. Weird name for a currency. You got through the assignment only with my help, so be thankful, okay? Of course, still not as weird as Sweden's currency being called Krum. <laughs> That's true, you can look it up. Take my but I'll take only 980 You little thief! Ask me along again, okay? Well, I'm going back. You thief! Okay, never mind. Um, thank you for your hard work. Good luck on your next adventure. We did take him long, after all. So I'm kind of wondering now, if we took very long, would we have lost Daniels? Not sure. Meg receives 2,100 Daniels. Jeez, I'm just getting all sorts of 
cash right now. After losing so much of it. Uh, let's actually talk to you real quick. Hi there. Something I can do for you today? Broken telescope and cloudy lens. Sure. Astronomical teles Astronomical telescope. Wow, that was a weird mispronunciation of astronomical. Astronomical. <laughs> astronomical telescope was created. Is there anything else? Nope. If okay. I can help you with anything else, just come on back. Oh, it's you, Mag. Good to see you. So, you conquered the Blaze Ruins, eh? I heard it from Lisa. Looks like you're doing pretty good. I'm so glad for you. I'm doing great. Since we're both from Pan Am Town, you have to redouble your efforts so you don't disgrace me. Understood? Phew, Nina, you're way too strict, as always. Anyways, we're going to head to the hotel and ask the receptionist to sleep. It sounded weird saying it out loud. special to Miss Linear. The Ocarina? Yes. Miss Linear came to live with us three years ago, you know. Carrying a letter from the father of young Master Mag, Miss Linear arrived on a snowy night. Was this the third time we've heard her backstory? Addressed to young Master Mag, the letter asked him to protect Miss Linear. But we had no idea what sorts of terror Miss Linear had been through up to that point. For every day, she would cower in the corner, even at the slightest of sounds. Pitying poor Miss Linear, young Master Mag gave her his prize ocarina and even taught her how to play it. And amazingly, poor Miss Linear, who could only cower, slowly but surely, was able to smile again. Mag has always been a busybody. Huh? What are you two doing here? Ah, uh, young Master Mag. Uh, oh no, I, I seem to have talked too much. Uh, very well then. Good night, Miss Chain. Uh, good night. So what were you talking about? Uh, nothing at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can tell me. <laughs> I think I'll turn into. Or you'll fall asleep standing. <laughs> Oh. 
sorry. I didn't mean to start you. It's just... Another... character. That was a weird appearance. Kind of reminds me of, uh... I can't think of his name now. The English one? From, uh, Devil Survivor 2, Becker Becker. Don't watch that let's play, it's awful! <laughs> Long sleeves, or is that a cipher? I'm Yoka. Same name as the flowers you love so well. Dude, are you a stalker? Yoka? It's alright if you don't remember. Okay, so he knows her. From a time ago? I'm lost. So you won't forget me again. I just want to leave my mark on you. The way you left your mark on me. That doesn't sound good. Well, I must be going. I'll come to see you again without fail. the guy because I didn't read that far. <laughs> so first off you're curious as to why I'm on this screen is to make sure that I got this item. I'm pretty sure we I was pretty sure we got it since we were checking up on all the uh, items. We were making sure to grab all the items on the way but I just wanted to be sure. If you do not have this item, you need to go back to Blaze Ruins and make sure you get it. The old doll. Uh, we need to head to the Adventurer's Hut. Wherever the hell that is. Oh, wrong way. Seriously, I have no idea where the Adventurer's Hut is. It's been a while. So I could be going all over again. <laughs> this is not the adventurous hut, this is the fire frame upgrade shop. <laughs> oh, you know what? The adventurous hut was that uh, one house, wasn't it? house that was. That's the restaurant. God, I hate trying to find places in this game. That is not the adventure set. There's a lottery shop. We'll be coming here a little bit later. remember this map very well at all. Okay, this might be the little hub that we need to be in. Here we are, Adventure's Hub. Uh, I don't know who I need to talk to. You? I'll let you guys in on a seat. The product lineup in the shops in town changes every now and then. 
And if you don't believe me, go ahead and check after you've conquered a dungeon or two. Hey, brothers and sisters. Isn't that an old dog you got? How about trading that for this fashionable chain I got here? Heck yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, it's my lucky day. Thank you kindly. Here you go, the fashionable chain I promised you. You got the fashionable chain. We are going to take this to the shop. Hey you! Isn't that a fashionable chain you got? How about trading that for this mason ornament I got here? Yes, we want that. Really? Yeah, I'm so lucky. Thank you so much. Here you go, the mason ornament I promised you. You got the mason ornament. Okay. There's nothing I want from the item shop. So now it's time to go to the lottery shop. Just that church like building at the very end of town. Yeah, I'm really bad with this map. This way. Not this way. This way. Well, well, you seem to be in good spirits. Didn't you say that you work as adventurers, right? <laughs> Thanks for asking. It's going great. Okay, here we are. So, of course, the only person we can't talk to here. Oh my gosh! Say, isn't that a bison ornament you have there? Yes, it is. Say, how about trading that for this dowsing stone I have here? Yes. Really? Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you so very much. Here you go, the dowsing stone I promised you. Okay, so the dowsing stone is a very important item to obtain. the reason why I won't be using this controller at all in this let's play. This controller doesn't have rumble. Well, it's supposed to have rumble. I don't know what happened to it though. But anyways, so it's pretty useless. My other controllers do have rumble. What the Dowsing Stone does is if you're at a secret area, it'll rumble. So, it'll make life a whole lot easier. That being said, um, we are actually going to use the lottery shop now, as a matter of fact. Welcome! This is a lottery store. If you have five prehistoric coins, you can buy a lottery ticket that might win you a nice prize. How about it? Will you bet your life on the lottery? Sure. Which ticket do you want? Oof. Red Impulse, Blue Hurricane, or Yell Thunder. Choose a ticket and save and reload. Reload, ask her when the next drawing is. So it doesn't say which one to choose, just choose any ticket, I guess. Let's go, uh. Kind of the sound of Bur Blue Hurricane, but Red Impulse is pretty good sounding too. Um. Let's go with Blue Hurricane. Blue Hurricane, right? Thank you! 
Apparently, I have to do that by pressing the reset button. Great. Well, you guys get to see that again, I guess. Classic. Ask her when the next drawing is. The drawing will be held. For that though? It doesn't say that I can't do this multiple times over. So I'm thinking that we're. The reason he said to save and reload is because we're going to want to do this multiple times over. So. That's just my guess. Um, wow, Maya. Maya capture card did something weird there. I have no idea. No, it's not the capture cards. It's a. Uh... Hey, it's OBS doing weird stuff. I have to put this entire episode into my uh, OBS fails playlist. <laughs> Time to see what happens. Because I didn't realize that it looks like you still win if you lose.
And if that's the case, this is the last time, I swear. That was loud. Wasn't loud the other time. It's insecticide. Okay, so you still get something. to the item shop to sell any items that we don't need. If I can remember where that was, it'd be in that little hub here, I believe. No! That's not where I wanted to go! Not yet. That'll be next episode. No, not where I wanted to go either. Huh, I thought it was in this hub. Maybe I'm wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. Okay. It's close to it, but it's not there. Welcome. At my shop, we sell lots of disposable items you need for searching the ruins. And we have quite a selection, so come and take a look. Alright, we need to sell items. Any items you don't think you need, sell them. Personally, I'm not a big fan of all these nouns, but... Hmm. Okay, so that would mean that I want to sell the... Insecticide capsules for extermination, effective on bugs. Yeah, let's just sell that. I don't think we'll need that for a good while. Once the guide says to stock up on those, I don't think there's any reason to keep those around. Prehistoric, prehistoric coin, might as well. We'll be getting tons of them throughout the game anyways. More insecticide, let's sell that. Escape incense, might as well keep that. Red Viper, keep that. Boost attack parameter in combat. Sounds like an interesting idea. However, that's pretty simple to do anyway, so. Unless the guide says we need it, let's sell it. Little old bomb. Again, unless the guide says. Fireball inflicts fire damage when thrown, so there is some elemental stuff in this game, and I'm gonna keep that around because of that. I don't know what's coming up. Uh, actually, I do know what's coming up because I can see it on my guide. My guide scrolled down that far. Uh, Force depths. <laughs> Anyways, so I'll keep that. Little Nowen, uh. 50 HP, yeah, let's sell that. 
I'm gonna keep the regular announcements though. Manoka Ampels are definitely worth keeping around. Santa Maria's worth keeping around. Now plus, if no one's worth keeping around, so is now a plus. Red Viper, that revives and boost. Of course, keep that around. Musty Herbs, uh, yeah, let's sell those. Okay, so give me a second to read ahead. Because this is as far as I've gone. Okay, so I do know what I did know what we needed to do here, and I just totally forgot about it because I was so focused on the lottery part here. We need to head to the ciphering shop if I can remember where that was. Is that it? Secret dormitory. Nope. I don't think this was it, was it? That was it, okay. Welcome! At my shop, I upgrade your ciphering, the mark of an adventurer. I power up parts for you and add extra slots. Everything. If you think your ciphering needs a little tuning up or a little extra power, come on by. Well, enough of this spiel. What can I do for you today? Um Okay, we need to go back when you want We need to go get a chain first. I'm stupid. Uh Oh, it's right next door to the hotel. That's nice to know. Try and upgrade what we can without getting our assignment yet, because that's gotta happen later. Welcome! I figured I wanna add another slot. Okay, anyways, let's power up parts. It says do this until it says do this until you have used up all your idioms. Okay, so if, uh, I guess this is Max the only one you can't have at this point, that's just what's going to have to happen there. I would have powered up Chain's, uh, Cyframe as well, but, anyways, it's time to head back to the Society, if I remember where that is, that's not it, that's the... Tower Court Yard. We'll be going there next, but not in this video. Stupid trying to remember where everything is in this map. Society Courtyard, here we are. Yes. 
So head up here and talk to Mr. Whitehead. Professor Whitehead. <laughs> Okay, and now it's time to head to the Tower of Despair. Um, choose Pepper since she's great for attacking and you'll need her skills and talents desperately later in the game. Then go to floors 11 to 20 in the Tower of Despair. Then go to the four steps after making your own preparations. In other words, we're going to the Tower of Despair next. And we're bringing Pepper along. I swear to God, I'm going over to uh, get her cyphering upgrade after that, because reasons. After using the upgrade kit, I don't think I can add a... Uh... Did I use the upgrade kit? I did use the upgrade kit. Okay. Yeah. I thought so. I don't think... Oh, hello there. You look healthy as ever. Oh, to be young again. Everything must look bright and shiny. I have no idea exactly where, uh... Pepper is. She kind of said where she was, but... I don't see around anywhere. Nope. And that's the adventure start. said she was going to be near the item shop. Beautiful women. 
Oh, really? Spicy. My oh my, how cozy. Mr. Loverboy with women on either arm. Uh oh. Surrounded by dudes. My oh my. It doesn't Surrounded change for uh, anybody else. I'm gonna have to talk to you more often just to see if your uh, dialogue changes based on who's my party. The washing machine can spend me.